Facebook Stackers. Today we're doing another Midnight Pages crate unboxing. This time it's the March one. If you missed our last one, we did a joint one for the January and February one because it was Elisa's birthday present. So we got her the three month subscription, me and a couple other friends. So this is the last one we'll be doing because we don't have the budget for that. But you know, <laughs> enjoy this one. The theme for the March crate was high treason. That's cool. Comes with a little card again as well. You've got bookmark. This one is like, Quite large. Whoa, this is a thick bookmark. For comparison, like, yeah, pretty I good. feel like these would be good for like those big hardcover books that you have. Right, Makes a sound. And... Oh, this one doesn't. Kind of. It's like a wobble. You wobble. have to like vigorously move it. Uh, for this one, you don't get a letter from the author, oh. which is a bit of a bummer, but it's got a cool little thing. I think that's the cover of the book. So it's got like characters kind of So I that. guess, it, yeah, I guess it's like a little advertisement card. We also get a pretty <gasps> cool little pin, oh! which is from Red Queen, which I have actually like listened to. I read, listened to the audio book. Yeah, I bought all the audio series um, on Audible because I feel like it's one of those books that I enjoy more listening to than reading. Just, I feel like the character needs to be read aloud. I yeah. like that it's wood. Yeah, it is pretty cool. I really do like this pin, actually. I'll put it on my jacket. You've got little hair pins from Belle Regalia, which I think is like the Midnight Whoa. Crates thing. Pretty decent quality too. Like, uh, it doesn't look like the little thing on top is gonna like come falling off at any moment, which happens sometimes. You also get a Body scrub. Oh, I've never used a body scrub before. Oh, but this Lemon is ginger. Nice. Lemon Ooh. and ginger. Do we open it and sniff? I like sniffing things. <laughs> oh, that's nice. It smells fresh, Ooh. but like kind of spicy with the ginger. It smells really good, actually. We also get a candle, which I personally am super excited about. <laughs> She's like, I need so many candles. I smelt it when I got the crepe. And it is one of my favorite smells. Really? I have a lot of scented candles at the moment, actually, which is really weird for me. Smell it. Oh! Right. That, no, that's one of my favorite smells as well, because that was the smell of one of my teddy bears when I was younger. Like, it had a scented foot, and mm. that was the scent that it had. It's inspired no. by Queen Marguerite's Coastal Quadrant of Toria from Four Dead Queens. Mm. Light this candle as coastal quad... It is kind of coastal. It's not jasmine. Is it jasmine? No, it's not jasmine. I know this. I don't know what it is, but it's so good. No, I have. I need to know. <laughs> what is it? We've got, we've got the classic button that comes with every crate, the little tiny I one. love little buttons. It's really small. You're not going to be able to see it clearly. No. It says oh, be... I'll do a, I'll do a close up. Yeah, it says be whoever you want, which was designed by the Midnight Pages crate team. And then... The actual book, which I didn't unwrap. It is wrapped really nicely, to Just be fair. like, ah! I like the cover. Ooh, it's like the shiny bits and the matte bit. Oh. I love covers like that. It's just a nice little contrast. Yeah, so it seems like it's gonna be kind of a murder mystery, fantasy, murder mystery thing. Yeah. Which is like really cool. I love murder mysteries because I love like working things out as I go along. Yes. Um, She's very good at it as well, which is always annoying when I'm trying to read something and being like, you'll never guess. I think it's just because I've read a lot of books, right? And you read the tropes yeah. that come along with it. Also, and you're I like, if you this like, situation is similar, then it'll probably happen like this. You're way more sus about things. Like something will happen and I'm like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And you'll be like, wait a minute, why? And I'm just like, I just go along with it, man. Like, I need to Until know. the killer's in front of me and I'm like, oh, you're the killer. And she's like, yeah, duh. <laughs> Thank you for watching as we unbox these boxes. It was like something different that we've done on our channel just because it just happened to be bookish related and we thought, you know, we've seen unboxings of things so why not do our own? It was good sniffing stuff and not just watching people and being like, I wonder what it actually smells like. So enjoy that being your job now. We tried being descriptive with the smell but mostly we just came up with it. Yeah, good. and look, this one doesn't say what it smells like. I can't help you, go buy the crate. You can do that, here's the website, bam. <laughs> And you don't have to buy the actual crate. You can get some of the items like separately. Separate. Yeah, um, I do like that. Yeah, I, I mean, like, like if, if in the future we decide we want to like subscribe to one of these, like you know, we start getting more money. That's yeah, yeah miraculously, we miraculously, you know, then 
Then like, we can probably go back to Midnight Pages crates because I, I like them. Yeah, I think they're pretty good. They're cute. And also yeah. I like that the team also puts their own thing in, like the little badges. Yeah. And it's not just like cards that they've done. I like that they actually make like a little something because it's cute. I like all the different things that you get because you get something interesting. I also just really enjoy the badges. I like getting more badges. Yeah, the badges and candles are like... Uh, next time you see us, it'll probably be for our review of Good Omens, actually. So, yeah. I finished that. Elise just needs to finish it. And as soon as she's done that, then we'll record it. So, if it takes a while, you know who to blame. Bye! <laughs>